what is up guys how's everybody doing i am tiff welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome make sure you're subscribed so you know when all of my future readings come out this is going to be a general reading it's not going to resonate for everybody take what resonates leave what doesn't don't force it to fit your situation if you want a personal all that information is in the description box okay let's get right into this so like i said i was going to do the reading for you guys um the channeled song i posted it johnny taylor running out of lies 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 getting hard to think of an alibi i feel like i'm channeling this divine masculine the energy okay in the song if you guys want to hear the song i posted it on my community board um he's talking about you know stealing your love is getting harder and harder his excuses ain't holding no water. Like, he's saying his old lady, she ain't stupid, right? I feel like this is the energy of this masculine where, but in the end, like, so his old lady leaves him. You know, like, she she sees that he's out here bullshitting. And in the song, he says that his old lady told him, nah, you got too many damn excuses. You know, you got too many alibis. Like, I see through that shit and leaves him. And in the end, he's apologizing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like, he's trying to get her back. Okay, so I feel like this is um, somebody's, this masculine's energy here, okay, running out of lies, getting hard to think of an alibi, you know, when it comes to you, you see through their bullshit, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, we got the divine masculine right here at the bottom already, okay, and it's in the reverse, which means this masculine is in his karmic energy, okay? Damn, we got the crossroads, wow, karmic relationship lies oh my god i cannot make this shit up getting hard to think of an alibi and right under that is shapeshifter mimicking acting mm. so definitely this divine masculine is at a crossroads right now he is stuck in his karmic energy and got this karmic relationship toxicity and he's at a crossroads okay he's trying to figure out which way he wants to go this masculine is definitely trying to figure out this way. Look, it says this way, that way, the other way. This masculine could be getting pulled into three different directions. You know what I'm saying? Um, Running out of lies, lies, lies. Getting hard to think of. An... Mm, 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 mm. Y'all listen to it now. And in the end, he's apologizing to her. So he, this masculine could have gotten caught up in this karmic relationship, stuck in his karmic energy, okay? And you could have left him behind because in the song, it says, shit, don't worry, I'm done, you know? You've got too many lies. You've got too many alibis. You know, she sees through his shit. And so now while this masculine is all caught up in there, this masculine could be going through some legal matters. You could be divorcing. Y'all could have some legal matters going on. Now this masculine is caught up in something that he's going to have to get, go to court to get out of. blocked obstacles yeah so this is where you're you come in you block this person you've cut this person completely off you know this person had a lot of excuses it's like this person was a master manipulator to the point where like they would have an excuse for everything you know and then at the end he says like i'm tired i'm tired of like wondering if i'm gonna fight when i come in late you know it's very kind of narcissistic on the man's side, like he's apologizing because at the end he starts talking about his conscience, right? And he says, you know, we all have a conscience. And when I do this, my conscience comes in and says, you know, Johnny, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. And he tells his conscience, conscience, if you don't bother me, I won't bother you. You know what I'm saying? So it's almost like this is this definitely weighs heavily on this masculine. This weighs on this masculine soul. You know, um, his conscience eats him up about this because he says it also in the song, you got a damn good woman at home and you know you should be treating her better. That's what his conscience is telling him at the end of the song. You got a damn good woman at home. You know you should be treating her better, you know? And so this masculine, yeah, his, his conscience does eat his ass up. Um, he knows that he, you deserved better. He was out bullshitting. He knew that you were catching on to his bullshit, right? 
And it was getting hard to, for him to make excuses. It was getting hard for him to cover up his tracks, okay? Now there could be, you know, you backing out of this situation. But I feel like definitely they have been blocked. They could be now stuck in a karmic relationship or this karmic energy because this masculine is stuck in this this relationship. But he um he's at a crossroads on which way he should go. What else, spirit? I cannot make this shit up. Said I'm sorry. Yeah, I cannot make it up. There goes that apology for what? This third party interference between the lines. Look for what's hidden. You was looking between the lines. You, you, your, you, your intuition was telling you they're full of shit. There's always an excuse for something. This person was hiding their tracks at first pretty damn good, but it's like shit. They got caught up in it because also in this song, he says, I would, you know, I'm spreading myself too thin. I'm trying to do the job of too many men. Okay, so this masculine is like you seen that shit. You seen through that. You saw what was, uh, but you looked and seen what was hidden, right? And now he says, I'm sorry. Yeah. For that third party interference. Here he comes with that apology. Now he's at a crossroads. Now his conscience is eating his ass up. Because it's like, and he's trying to, he's trying to fight off his conscience. Conscience don't bother me. Um, unless I bother you, but he's bothering his conscience by fucking over you. Shit, I just made that up, y'all. Hey, okay, but seriously, here comes that apology for this motherfucking third party situation for letting this third party interfere in this connection, okay? Wow, this kept falling down, falling off it like this. Like if you rewind this card on top, it fell to the side here. I put it back on top. It fell in my lap. Now it says enemy. Watch your back. I cannot make this shit up. So whoever this karmic is, I feel like this karmic might know about you. Okay. I feel like this karmic doesn't like you. I feel like this karmic could be jealous of you. This karmic might even want to confront you. Um, because I feel like. This karmic really thought that they were going to come in between your relationship, that they were going to break the two of you up. And it worked because even this karmic knows that you're a strong ass woman or man. It does not matter. Right. Even this karmic knows this. Right. And the fact of the matter is this karmic is like knew that if you found out that you would motherfucking um, cut that cut whoever you're dealing with off this masculine. So this karmic really thought like they they were scheming, they were plotting, they knew what they was doing here. But it's not working. This masculine's conscious, they know they had a good woman at or man at home, and they motherfucking are it's eating them up for doing you the way they did. And so this karmic is pissed, right? I feel like this karmic is gonna try to be messy, okay? Let's see. Doop, doop, doop. And I, I'm telling y'all, I just been channeling this song like all oh, for since I woke up, I was hearing the melody. Doop, 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 doop. And I was like, man, said I'm sorry. Yeah. We got this sacred union. Okay. Marriage does not have to be mean that you guys are married in this lifetime or married, you know, here in, in this outwardly you know this is a sacred deep soul bond between the two of you this there could be marriage involved you could be married to this person um they could be married to somebody else okay but it, you guys have this sacred union and it's kind of hard to come out of this you know look a rock in between a hard place right we have friends and influences here but it's coming up in reverse so this masculine could have a lot of toxic influence around influences around them that could have made them feel like it was okay like come on are oh, you really gonna stay at home come with us you know we got these hoes over here you know what i'm saying like this they this masculine really did have some bad influences around them not blaming anybody else because this masculine can do whatever the fuck they want but that shit's weak right you're a follower you ain't a leader shit a real man's gonna make 12 bitches jealous of the one right not make their one down bitch jealous of these 12 
nothing right so there's definitely a deep soul bond here between the two of you but there are a lot of negative influences around this masculine this masculine could even have female friends and they tell you that like they're just your friend their friend and you don't motherfucking like this like you it makes you feel uncomfortable your intuition is telling you it's something more i feel like it definitely is something more than just a friendship with it coming in reverse because there are some feminine energies on that card right so there could be some female friends here involved that you might make you feel uncomfortable that they don't want to give up or they try to tell you you're just tripping or whatever that's not for everybody said i'm sorry yeah unexpected all of a sudden so you could have found out what this person had going on all of a suddenly okay but i feel like there's gonna be like you're gonna yeah i feel like wow divine feminine dating someone new wow so you could be moving on and saying you know i'm not waiting on you to come back i'm gonna move towards somebody new because here they come with the apology if not, this person definitely thinks you're going to be meeting somebody new and this is something that's scary. You know, this could just come unexpected out of the blue, like happiness, because you have unexpected all of a sudden, okay? Happiness. Divine feminine meeting something, somebody new. So it's like all of a sudden, after this very hard time, this divine feminine just shockingly meets the one, you know? Because with Divine Masculine being here and karmic relationship, you know, maybe this person's your karmic and you're walking into something even better, right? Because the soul contract, just because you have a soul contract with somebody doesn't mean it's your twin flame. You know, this is just like some past life shit that could have rolled over. I feel like this Divine Feminine is definitely ready just to be happy again, you know? You might have just met somebody all unexpected, like that you don't even. This could also be like for this person, okay? The person that uh, this masculine, like you and this person unexpectedly hit it off, and you guys were like truly happy together. The energy was on point, okay? If it's the other way around, like say, um they're married and they're fucking with you you know and it was just kind of like this random thing maybe they were going through a separation or a divorce but they go back and forth whatever it is here text message so this person is definitely send like filling out text messages um typing them out long ones okay but then they might not send them to you they might delete them because it says unsent messages all right this could be, person could be blowing your phone up with text messages and you're thinking about texting them back, but you're just kind of swiping them to the side, ignoring them, like rolling your eyes. I feel like somebody kind of chuckles a little bit when this person like blows them up and goes to acting crazy because it's like now the shoe's on the other foot where they would be out all night and have excuses and you might have blown them up and like was, you know, like, damn, now it's the other way around. Feeling your love. Yeah, silence, no contact. Somebody ain't saying shit. Somebody ain't contacting the other one. This person, like I said, this person could be blowing you up and you're over here. Look, I cannot make this shit up. Silent as fuck. Like, please. Keep wallowing in your pity, motherfucker. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, we can't do them like that. Just ignore them. But never wish bad. Wish for the best and keep it moving. Ooh, see, they're realizing it. They know the grass was greener with you. They're seeing all the possibilities that what it would have been like if they would have stuck around, if they would have done right by you, okay? There's hearts all over this card, you know? They know that the grass is greener where you are. They think about all the possibilities that could have been, okay? 
it's almost like I fucked up with some old petty. It's like they fucked up with somebody that was, yeah, look, bottom of the deck, regrets, mistakes. This person is what their conscience is eating them up. Conscience, don't bother me. And I won't bother you. But their conscience said, fuck that. Shit, you got a good woman at home and you know you better, you should treat her better. And now they regret that because when their conscience was telling them when they were out doing this dirt, when they were out fucking up, when they were living like they didn't give a fuck, their conscience was telling them, turn around, got to do something different. And they ignored their conscience and now they're living in that state of regret. Now they're having to deal with the consequences of their mistakes. Now this shit is eating them up. Spiritual awakening, look, <clears throat> realizing. Now they're starting to realize things. Now they're starting to do some shadow work. It took them f continuously fucking up to take them down through there to get some shadow work done. And here's call hearing from them, okay? But let's see. Let's get some more cards here. Let's get another deck here, Tiffy. Situations. Let's see, spirit ancestors and guides for this masculine spirit ancestors and guides. Feeling your love getting harder and harder. Just whoa ho. Ooh, we. So it's almost like this person is now in that energy where it's like they know that they can't go back and change the past. Like the past happened. You know, they're wishing it was ancient history, but it's not. And this is another thing that's weighing heavily on their soul. And with that is crushed, sad, broken, feeling alone. Like they crushed themselves, though, when they did this. They, it, they, You were sad. You felt broken. You felt alone at a point. But it's like you're coming out of that. You're coming into way better energy. You know, you, you brought yourself into... And that empress energy if not pre-empress here and this person is at that point where they're thinking about the past and you know they w used to wish that they could go back and change shit now it's just like damn like it, it like it, it it happened like fuck what can i do now like there's nothing i can do and this is leaving them feeling sad it's like the shoes on the other foot feeling very sad very broken all them people that they were dogging you out for and running around with now they feel very alone, even if they're amongst all these people. <laughs> See, bottom of the deck, poison, toxic, unhealthy behaviors, and people, right? <clears throat> this person's still in that toxic energy. I feel like you could just feel like this person's toxic, you know, that they're dealing with a lot of unhealthy behaviors, a lot of unhealthy people that you just, you know, you can't deal with that shit anymore. You know, they're bringing you down with them. But for some reason, I feel like somebody still feels stuck, though, on this person. Yeah, see, look. Lockbox. I cannot make it up. Closed in, trapped, frustrated. Okay, so it's almost like even though you have to do what's best and be like, you know what? It's the hardest thing to do is to tell this person, fuck you, and to ignore them. You know, when they're hitting you up and they're saying all this shit, it's like, damn, I'm trying to really say in this... It's, it's a stubbornness, but it's also good for you, okay? If they're in a relate in a this karmic relationship, because this could also be like a karmic ass relationship that they're stuck in right now, super toxic, super poison. They feel trapped. They're getting fucking frustrated. They're closed in. It's like this everything is weighing down heavily on them. Their conscience is eating them up. They're about to blow up. They're about to fucking explode. Yeah. And this is what I'm saying though. It's like even though somebody's trying to pull back their energy and stay away, there's still this magnetic pull to one another. It's unexplainable. And it's like sometimes somebody could be hard on themselves. Like, why do I keep letting myself deal with this person? But it's like it's unexplainable. What's unexplained, what's shit, what's understood don't motherfucking have to be explained to nobody. Okay? That's the problem. Let you know, the world lets too many people, um, people's opinions affect their motherfucking actions.
Mm. Okay. All right. That's what I have for you guys. If that resonates at all, comment below. Let me know. Until next time, loves. Peace.